What's up everybody, Steven Z Killer here, and I'm bringing you a brand new reaction video. But before that, about 80% of you guys watching are not subscribed. That means two things, either you're new or you're returning. And hopefully this is the video that gets you that subscribe button today. The new goal for this channel is 400 thousand subscribers and the only way we can do that is by you right there hitting that subscribe button i can feel it rising i can feel it oh, keep hitting the subscribe button keep doing it one day we'll even go even further beyond and hit a million subscribers so hit that subscribe button today What's up everybody, Steven Zekiel here bringing another reaction, and today we're checking out something called Glitch X 2024. Now, this dropped about an hour ago, uh, I believe it was actually uh, set up for a premiere, I didn't catch it right when it dropped, this literally finished about an hour ago. Uh, a lot of people already talking about it, I didn't expect this to even be a whole hour long thing. So I have no idea what this is all about, I already got in a couple comments saying, Steven you gotta check it out, Steven please check it out, All that, all that stuff. Um, in some of my videos, uh, but yesterday was my Halloween stream. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We did have a bunch of people showed up, uh, and a bunch of you guys possibly got a gifted membership on the channel because a lot of gifted memberships were, uh, done in yesterday's live stream. I, uh, I believe the total was 90, which is crazy awesome to see. So if you got a gifted membership and you see me live, you now have access to do stuff on my live stream with emotes and all that other stuff. Uh, but some of the videos and some of the things I did yesterday on my live stream will be uploaded onto the channel at some point later this month. Also, I already did upload one of those things earlier. If you guys did not see, I recently started watching some Team Fortress 2 animation stuff. And a lot of you guys seem to show a lot of love and want for more of it. So I decided, you know what, let's check out more. And somebody, aka my boy TJ, uh, sent me a request and also paid a little extra on my live stream by gifting out memberships for me to check out a huge, almost two hour long fan-made movie on Team Fortress 2. It was a spooky, creepy, awesome video I uploaded earlier. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out. It's super awesome. Um, anyways, don't forget the link will be down below. I'm excited to check this out because when I saw this announced, I was like, okay, it's awesome that they're doing this. I hope we get maybe information on an upcoming series show or something because now that uh, Murder Drones is done as for right now, we don't know what else is they're going to do besides the Amazing Digital Circus. So, anyways, if you guys want to check out this video in its entirety, let me, uh, the link will be down below in the description, like always. Let's check this out and enjoy this announcement video. And it's a pretty big one. It's almost an hour. This is the I this is the character on the uh, the thumbnail for the announcement. I'm wondering if that's going to be a new character for another series Welcome or is that just an iconic X 2024. Like, oh man, it's so exciting. Original to character today, for the what channel itself. This particular glitch X is going to be a little different than last year's one where last year's was a live stream. Today we actually have a bunch of indie creators that we want to share with you guys, really putting Ooh. the spotlight on the indie animation scene. What we want to do with Glitch X and what we want to do with Glitch in general is really, really trying to bring up the entire indie animation industry. The animation By the way, I am general, happy to yeah, see that Glitch has hit 12 million subscribers. That's amazing. Since last year, so many amazing creative shows have come out of the woodwork and have gone Turn funded. Montage. I'm looking for support, have announced. I haven't seen that one. Online. Yeah. I haven't and seen that the one. Whole purpose of Glitch X I did see that, that one. That was really good. And so you guys can go check them out. So please, Ooh. everyone that we showed. Okay, them. off the bat, if there's some indie animations on this list they're showing or anything like that, you guys want me to check out? Let me know which ones you guys would like me to see. Today, really do what you can to support. And honestly, the best way you can support 
is really just sharing and talking about the show and spreading that awareness. Yes, yes, definitely. Obviously, if they have a Kickstarter or if they have any merchandise or a website to go to, please feel free to do that as well. Always show but your support. If you enjoy really, indie animations, really show and them as much love as you possibly can. All throughout today's video, so look forward to that. We also are interviewing Olin Rogers, the creator of Final Space and uh, another indie animated pilot called Godspeed mm. here on YouTube. He's an incredibly, incredibly Ooh. experienced and successful creator that started on YouTube, went to Netflix, only to get his show canceled and wiped off the face of the internet. What? Which is, you know, really, really sad. So we're gonna be talking a lot about that. But then we also talk about his journey into the indie animation scene, creating his own pilot. And I'm so excited for that. I think we're gonna be able to learn so much. So please stay tuned for that as well. That's okay. also going to be in. And without with that, Luke, I think let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> it's also my first time seeing this character. Is that a returning character for Glitch? Or is that going to be like their mascot Once maybe for the channel? Time, there was a boy and a girl who broke the moon. As pieces of the moon fell, people's lives were permanently changed. The boy lost his father, and the girl lost herself. However, the boy and girl's guilty conscience overcame the two one day, and so they began to confess their crime, for they knew the worst was yet to come. Ooh. It was an accident, cried the girl. We will fix it, promised the boy. The people stared quietly. A child couldn't do this, one man openly laughed. What a silly story these children have made, chuckled another. And silly stories should be listened to. After all, is it this just another silly story? Hello everyone at GlitchX. My name is Jordan Whitman. I'm the creator of Port by the Sea, and thank you so much to everyone at Glitch for allowing us to showcase our indie animation work. Earlier this year, a small team and myself developed and released the animated pilot for Port by the Sea. With it came the hope that we could showcase a small sample of a larger narrative that we've been planning out for a long time. What we just okay. showcased was some foreshadowing for the series and what could come next. Port by the Sea is a limited series and contained narrative with a beginning, middle, and end. It follows two kids, Port and Umi, and their pet crab Jolly Roger, as they set <laughs> forth and pick up fallen pieces of a broken moon in order to prevent an ancient titan named Tiamat from flooding the world once again. It's a okay. story with a variety Ooh. of difficult obstacles the main characters need to overcome. The art style kind of reminds me of, um, very similar to, uh, I think, Steven Universe, almost. Not exactly the same, but kind of reminds me a little bit of that. As well as a story that highlights the lasting effects of consequences from characters' actions. It's our hope now that we can find a home for the short series. I've actually never so watched Steven Universe, soon. but I've seen a lot As of things about Steven Universe here and there. We'll continue sharing updates and what could come next. Thank you so much again for everyone's support with this project, and hope you all enjoy your time at GlitchX. Looks really nice. I'll have to check out... Like I said, if you guys see pilots be released that are on this, like, thing... Or if they're not released, or they already released, send me the links on my Discord. Out there, among the stars. Whenever they do release, That's and if they're already released. I'm gonna steal a starship and leave this life behind for good. I love indie animation when it comes to this type of stuff. Your ship is up to par. Safety concerns. Oh no. In case you've forgotten, today is our planet's feeding day. This power inside of me is dwindling. I have no idea how much longer I can keep this planet alive. Mm. This looks cool. I'll fix this. The first episode. I promise. Hey everyone, my name's Miranda. I'm both the creator and the animator of Atlas and the Stars. This is it. It's just me and the stars now. Hey, appreciate you the subscribing. The first episode of the series was released last December, and I'm currently hard at work with the animation for the second episode. Trust the process, Nebula. 
With a total of 8 episodes, this series remains an ongoing production. You can help support the show by subscribing to my Patreon, where you can get behind the scenes access to exclusive content, monthly updates, and so much more. You can also check out our merch, watch the episode, or follow any of my socials to keep up with the show. Yes, excellent. Thank you so much for having me be a part of this year's Glitch X. Hope you enjoy the show. Ooh, okay. Available now. I'll have to check what? that out Did soon. You see that? What? No? Oh, hey, we get some amazing digital circus stuff. Like I said, go grab me those links and post them in the reaction idea section for me, chat. And I'll, I'll, I'll at least try to look these up later myself, but it does help. We're just standing in this void for about 30 minutes. The creativity, the art, the passion. Do you feel it seeping through your ophthalmic? I still have to say, because people keep asking me, I think the third episode of The Amazing Digital Circus is my favorite. The Carberries! Well, I do kind of feel a migraine from all your shouting. I knew it! All that indie animation that just played was so inspiring! You, disembodied souls at home! If you are practicing or wanting to create the arts such as animation, paintings, or hardcore yodeling, then you got this! What the fuck? I know you all have the potential to make something amazing! Like this cool rabbit I drew, named uh, what? Good job, Kane. You're welcome. Now let's proceed with the show. I don't know what he said. But that looked like just Jax. Can we go back to the circus now? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> There'll probably be a couple more months before we get another episode of that, but I'm always looking forward to more. Damn. Also, still super excited to see if they we do get any information like other shows coming to glitch itself. What is this? Uh, that's not good. Shut up, computer. Binoculars Monthly just came in the mail. <gasps> Is that the Smith? <laughs> oh, you dropped her! Hmm? Possibly dead? <laughs> now Tengo que ser bueno. Another space one. I'm assuming that's got to be the main character. This guy right here. He kind of reminds me of... Um, a lot of you guys probably don't know who this is, I'm going to say, but... Gives me a little bit similar feels to, like, Earthworm Jim. You're only as good as the company you keep. You know what's holding you back. Cut it off. Anything about you that's actually good? Just the design reminds me of it. Twice. Take it really your reminds me of Earthworm Jim. Little Red. It's a pity what your father has been through. 
Mistakes are best left behind, after all. What the fuck? Definitely gonna look in the description for all the links of these uh, of these channels. Monkey wrench. Wait, I think I've re I think I've had that comment a few times. I recognize that name. I think there's been a couple people who've been asking me to check out Monkey Wrench for a while. I could be wrong, but that name sounds very familiar. Okay, I might have to look into that. Wow, those moving cartoons were so. Hey, cool. murder drones! Let's go! <laughs> cool, and they're pilots, just like me. I know, right? I get so pumped seeing this kind of stuff. You guys are rad. We got so inspired, in fact. N and I have a little something to show. N, presenting our own pilot. The what? Set in the distant future. This revolutionary story revolves around everyone dying. <laughs> what? <laughs> Here's the concept art. Death by cuteness. Frightening, I know. Uh, work in progress. We gotta figure it out. Just don't watch more <laughs> shows while we sort this. Enjoy the rest of the show. Okay, I, I like how they're doing little se uh, sequences in between. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> they put a lot of work in this. I love it. Plan. Yep. <sighs> Let's get this over with. Whoa! Please get me out of this. This is a terrible idea. Relax. We both know we'll be fine. Hey, boss. A hunter, huh? Ooh! My dad's missing, and they know why. <laughs> I'm getting like D and D vibes from this. Not just any D or scumbag, are you? We gave them everything. Don't kill them. Congrats for the down. Not just any D or scumbag, are you? We gave them everything. Don't kill them. Okay, the hey, don't kill them. I don't know why, but it made me think of Krillin from Team Four Star. I don't know why it made me think that was Krillin's voice from Team Four Star, but I don't think that's the same voice. Sweet plan, right? Ooh, okay. This looks awesome, though. Dark Fantasy series for and about. Dark Fantasy, a hell yeah. Overboard by his work as one of Hell's public servants and several other failed careers. Axel, a bright-eyed demon, finally takes the plunge and joins up with the Hunter's Inquisition, a bounty hunter organization. He and his friends, Orin Colors, become an official squad, and it propels them into exciting new adventures that just happen to take place at the most dangerous time, the hell itself. Heathens is a story years in the making by Studio Psycho, an indie dream team of both award-winning and on-the-rise artists from around the world, united by anime brainworms and an undying devotion to indie animation. Our members have worked in studios and on productions such as these guys. Whoa, did I just see, did I just see Spider Yes, yeah, Spider-Man into the Cross of Spider-Verse? Hell hell oh wow. Holy shit, okay. Murder drones as well. Digital circus Kickstarter got funded, which means the Heathens pilot will release 2025. If you're in a place Ooh, where you can okay. Money, you can check out our cool new Patreon and follow us on socials where we share. If it's releasing updates, next year, I gotta check that one out. Thanks so much. We'll see you soon. Remember, the the link for this video we're watching now is in the description. If you guys want to go check out these channels yourselves, show them support, please do. Cleveland, my son. Is it true that you found a new dungeon for the pesky Ace of Wands? Yes, mother. He even sold us his tower in the desert as part of the deal. That property was more valuable than he realized. Just as planned! Um, why are you kneeling? Oh, I, uh, dropped my pen. <laughs> it's hard to see in here. So, <laughs> we've all been curious. What's next for the dungeon flippers? I just acquired a new dungeon for us. 
It's a real mess. I may have gotten a little carried away during the negotiations. <laughs> we yeah. gotta flip it fast before someone else snatches it up. Ooh, a full, fast flip, Miss Karen? We'll need everyone's help this time. Laurel, think you can use your scrying skills to help us find some buyers? Maybe a brooding phantom or a maniacal warlord? Hmm. Let's see. We'll see who's left standing after today's battle at Dyer's Crossing. I'll reach out to him. You're the best. Okay. <laughs> Emma, Emma. <laughs> Is Splendor's best stone worker ready to renovate? So long as we don't awaken any primordial abominations lost at time, again. That is mm. the plan. Hey, Mort. So this is like a dungeon buy and sell business animation. What the fuck? Do you think our talented human resources manager could raise an army of the undead? To yeah. We've got the people. And we've got the place. Now, we just need to do what we do best and get some hype going. And I've got the perfect plan for it. We flip this pile of bricks and host an open dungeon. Episode two? Okay. Might have to check out episode one if it's available to watch soon. Dungeon flippers. <laughs> Very interesting concept. VA hey fun everyone. time. Welcome to this VA fun segment that we are doing here on Glitch X. Here we have Elsie Lovelock, the voice Hello. actor of Uzi Dorman, and we have <laughs> Michael Kovac, um, the voice actor of Jax and N. I when I found that out, by the way, I still can't believe N and Jax are voiced by the same person. That was awesome. Hello. And we have the voice actor of Pomni, Lizzie Freeman. Hello. Just for some context, about a month ago we posted up a uh, social post where we asked the fans for some fan scenarios involving Pomni, Uzi, and or Jax. And the fans have sent through some really uh, hilarious things. And I've picked out some certain <laughs> um, scenarios that you guys will be acting out today. You oh, God. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. My mother. My father left me for dead. The only friends I have are the things that murdered my kind. And my body is a host to the world-ending eldritch horror. What is your nightmare that haunts you? I got lost in a corn maze once. <laughs> my whole existence is just pain. First time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. That was funny. Shipping us. <laughs> what? To where? <laughs> well, Wait. Hi. Shipping us. What? Oh to my where? God. That's actually a funny one. <laughs> well, hi there, little clown fella. What's your name? You know, N and Jax actually having a conversation would actually be funny because Jax would probably get annoyed by N with all the positivity. Dang, that's a cool freaking name. Oh, heck <laughs> yes! yes. <laughs> Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Wish right now. Wish right now. <laughs> <laughs> Just three shots from this kitchen gun, and my dirty sink will look good as new. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> it is crazy how different Jax and and Sam like you you can barely tell the different like you can barely tell that it's done by the same person It's really good <laughs> I love kitchen gun It's so sad that Pomni died of Ligma Who's Pomni? Ligma ball hey, and what, what? It's like the attitude like there's so much extra attitude in Jax's voice and the positivity in in N's voice is so strong uh, N, are you hot? <laughs> uh, am, am I what? Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Jax, help! I'm abstracting. Hi, abstracting. I'm Jax. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> First of all, your Jordans are completely fake. Uh, 
Second, you, my friend, you have absolutely no good taste in anime. Oh. And finally, you haven't even thought about buying Spotify Premium. Gonna break in the ass. <laughs> look, look! I found a puppy! Aw, it's so cute! Finally, some food. No! <laughs> <laughs> No, no, stop crying. I need to continue explaining the Five Nights at Freddy's lore. You Dear God. Are my fire the one desire? Believe when I say I want it that way. Tell me why. <laughs> in this game. Aw, oh, there, there, buddy. Let it all out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm going into labor! <laughs> guys, guys! My father is in the night court! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I don't know what that is. Uh, excuse me. He asked for no pickles. Mm, I don't like pickles. Don't f*** with me. I have the power of God Thank you guys so much. That's the end of that segment. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. Guys, did you have fun? Yeah, yeah it, was it was so great. fun. I awesome. love that. These mm -hmm. guys are wonderful VAs for our show. They're so talented. And again, I want to say how important voice acting is to just, you know, really bring life to the characters and you're just how great voice actors are. Thank you so, so much. I love you all very, very much. And I'm so glad that you enjoyed it and loving our little edgy bean. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you to the yeah. fans. Yeah, you guys are awesome. And it's always lovely getting to see just everything that you guys do. And just knowing that you guys have supported these shows is just genuinely so awesome. Just <laughs> if anyone out there, if, if you're interested in doing voice actor, I say follow your intuition and go for it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Follow your dreams. Well, thank you guys so much. We're going to go on to the next Definitely. segment GX now. We'll catch you around. See you guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Cosmic Travelers. I've got unknown code. Aren't you scared? Haven't you heard? The unknown means possibility. And only it can bring us surprises. Hi, Creatrix. We are Stars Animation from Macau. We are so excited to introduce our new project. Cosmic Travelers. Hi, I'm Yimomo, the director. I'm Tim, the producer. In Cosmic Travelers, we make 2D with 3D to keep that handmade feel. With space ex need space exploration, we want our animation to be the part of this new space age of this company. Okay. This story dives into humanity's digital world, a multi-planet existence, and our evolving connection with powerful AI. It's a journey of curiosity, survival and redefining humanity's role in an interconnected universe. Our character, Rook, an orphan, and his robotic companions, Aria and Ember, embark on a mission to uncover why Earth has lost contact with the outside world. Along the way, they face questions that echo in our world today. If you love 2D animation Looks cool. and want to see how an indie animation studio creates a full season, follow us on YouTube and Instagram for updates. Thank that you looks for awesome. Supporting indie animation. Spot uh, like sci-fi space kind of theme going on with that one. That one looks cool. Oh my God! I've seen this one. I've seen uh, two the two episodes that are available. About 11 year old Go Go Matsumoto who travels with her family to death. I've seen the first two episodes. In Emperor Koro's infinite tournament. However, in the 50 years since the tournament's conception, no human has been able to win, making it more of a spectacle for the demons. If you guys haven't anything, seen this show, go Go-Go check it out. And if you have seen the show, maybe check out my reaction. <laughs> She's gonna beat that ass! Oh my god, the brain came out. Ooh! 
go-go girl ain't half bad. Maybe she can win it after all. You'll just have to wait for episode 300. How many episodes are out now? I, uh, I, two. I, two? <laughs> two. The creator of the show, Speedo Roo, has a special message just for you. Ooh. What? Uh, uh, what are you doing? What's going on, big fella? Oh, I ate too many cheese. You uh, working on episode uh, three? Uh-huh. Here's a sneak preview. For what event? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Well, that was cool. It didn't look very finished, though. Oh, it'll be out eventually. You know how it is with indie animation. Hey, no matter what, even if it takes a whole year for another episode, it's worth the wait. No matter what. Unless this cheese was poisoned. Don't poison the cheese. I poisoned it myself. So, uh, guys, no! <laughs> before we skedaddle on out of here, you can find There's also a rat chewing right on his YouTube. wire. Just go to the search bar and. Wait, what did that fully say? Just go to the search bar and. Doesn't show up on YouTube search properly for some reason. Oh, that sucks. You can find My friend SD was the one that recommended me to check out the first episode, and I enjoyed the fuck out of it. And the second episode was just as crazy. On my yeah, it came out three months ago, too. Yeah, the second episode. Or on Newgrounds. It also actually shows up better when you just Google it. Anyways. <laughs> you poisoned that cheese! Why are you still eating it? And now he's fucking dead. I like that little segment. That was cool. We didn't budget in between, idiots. Your contract is for just enough motion. V, what are you doing? Oh, tell me about it, V. Creativity's not as easy to corporate vice grip as I thought. These frickin' indie animation artists want to make it look good. I can't climb the capitalism ladder at this rate. You have a ladder? My foot's in the door, but this animation work is so complex, high cost, and requires meticulous perfection. Yeah, I just kind of go for it. A little messy, a little screamy. I've soundproofed the cubicles, but yes. <laughs> Why is V chewing on an arm like a dog? How can it take weeks or even months to prepare even just a few seconds? I don't do leftovers. Well, that's, that's animation for you. Less rich. Much less. The upfront cost versus the promise of return? It's so financially risky. I just wish... It is. It is. That's why I... Anytime I watch indie animation or fan-made stuff, please, please, please. I'm just doing a simple reaction. Go show your support to them. Go watch their video. Go subscribe to their stuff. Check out if they have a Patreon or any other sources of support that you can handle. If you want to support them, please. It does help. What are you talking about? N Uzi, better be at this desk when I get back. <laughs> that has to be like their new icon for the channel or something. Hi there, Glitch Egg. I don't think we I've seen are that so character. I'm excited to tell you about our upcoming pilot episode called Spice Frontier: Escape from Beltagar. Here's a quick mm. rundown of what this sci-fi adventure is all about. This is Ken. He's a chef. He's human, he was raised by aliens, and <gasps> he's trying to fix the universe. Wait, what? This is Sila. She's a cyborg, and she's the pilot of the Serrano, which, yes, is a spaceship. I want to say right now, she's the badass of the group. She knows how to fight. Named after a pupper. This is Ada. She's a scientist. She's the youngest member of the crew, and she's voiced by me. Here, please. You may know me on the internet for my cosplays and music. And oh, nice. Like I said, I'm also the voice of Ada in Spice Frontier. I thought it was just in my head. If you like Star Trek, Dungeons okay. and Dragons, and Treasure Planet, this okay. Spice Frontier is right up your alley. Rounding out the crew is a mechanic named Eloy, a computer hacker named Maud, and a mechanoid called Nexus. So you're probably wondering what happens in the first episode. Imagine a future where the very memory of humanity is fading. Thanks to a galactic war, Earth is gone. And with it, the treasured ritual of sharing delicious meals together. Hmm. Can the Spice Frontier crew unite the universe over a bowl of mac and cheese? Or is Earth <laughs> destined to be forgotten? Find out by subscribing to the Steam Roller Animation YouTube channel. And make sure to hit the bell for notifications. Hell Steam yeah. Is dropping the pilot in May 2025. But Ooh. in the meantime, you can check out the Spice Frontier short film that's on it's YouTube my birthday. right now to get a taste of the Spice Frontier universe.
taste. Get it? I'll definitely have to be checking Anyways, out that when it does drop. Now, and big thanks again to GlitchX for letting us talk about this project. See you guys later. Don't worry. Meet us there. What is up, 2024? This is Andy coming to you live from the future aboard the Enceladus 5. Wait, is it live if I'm sending video back in time through a temporal bending algorithm? <laughs> Whatever. If you want to see what me and my friends are up to in the year PE 197, then check out Enceladus 5. Follow at 1111anim on TikTok to see all the cool vids we send from the future. Check out mm -hmm. the first episode, out now. Oh, coming this November. Okay. Ooh. Something spooky Halloween giving me vibes. Oh, hold up. Haunted House Werewolf looking like main character might be vampire-wise. Got zombies in it. A cursed house. This animation looks sick too. Possibly it also looked like there was a, a, a regular human girl working with the vampire girl. Yeah, her. She might have spell casting powers. <laughs> House of the Outlands. Oh. Okay, I might have to check that one out soon. That looks so good. Hey guys, Hello. we are so excited to say that Olin Rogers, the creator of Final Space, is here with us today. And also the pilot of Godspeed. Olin, we are so excited to have you. Just for the for the new viewers watching, um, would love to know, know a little bit about Final Space and just yeah. a little bit about, um, yeah, about Godspeed yourself. as well, just yeah. your, the shows that you've made. Yeah, yeah, I mean, Final Space really started out as a uh, really terrible, awful animated, uh, cartoon called Gary Space. Don't look it up. It's still on the <laughs> just don't don't ever watch it. Oh, it will oh god. Every, uh, impression you It have. looks like you took you drew <laughs> it looks like you drew uh, on on a piece of paper with crayons and cut it out and you're moving it with with paper backgrounds and stuff like that. I, the aesthetic, that's what the aesthetic looks like. I didn't know Love how to it. animate, so I was just trying I was trying my best with what I had. Hey, um no matter what, you start somewhere and it's still Better than most people can do. But then I was like really wanting to do animation. I, I had always wanted to do animation since a kid, really since like Toonami, you know, like Dragon Ball Z wow. and Reed. Ah, oh, yeah. And yeah. I was like, man, I really want to do this. So six years after that, I think, I approached um, New Form Digital. It was like this little digital company that was like funding people's passion projects. And they had done like a few projects um, from people kind of like in my circle of YouTubers. Wow. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to leave this set until I try to go pitch that executive an idea. And one of them was for Final Space. And all oh, I had was just an image of a character, which was Gary uh, in Mooncake, because I was doing concept art. And I was like, that was it. That's my pitch. It's like, I want to do a, an animated thing. And I love Greenlit. Yeah, yeah. They, they, wow, they were incredible. like, wow. It was really funny, too, because I had, like, I had a, a, an entire book that I was working on, a sci-fi book. That's finally coming out this year. But I was like, I have this book <laughs> that could be a really cool live action sci-fi thing. Or I have this one little piece of animated like concept art. Which one do you want to do? They're like, we've never done animation. Let's do it. So they gave me 10K, which is nothing, you know, but I didn't know at the time. Like 10K, what, what can I do with that? And this is where it gets crazy. Wait, 10K for a show? That is not, that is literally nothing for animation. That is no but that's barely enough for a lot of animation stuff they reached out to an australian animator uh 
who was essentially wanting to break out from doing college humor videos. His name was Joe Brum, the creator of Bluey. Oh, yeah. And oh, wow. wow. He basically was like, I love this script. I need something to show that I can do something more than, um, you know, just college humor stuff. And I was like, let's go. Essentially, he animated it and it, he, he crushed it. He absolutely crushed it and was able to kind of put it online. And within like the next day, I had gotten messages from like Lionsgate and Adult Swim. And, and I was like, wow, I feel like my life Damn. is about to change here because this is like that moment that you've been building up to. And went out to LA, pitched it, sold it to every single place that heard the pitch. And I didn't really know how to pitch. So I was doing things that typical people didn't really do in a pitch. You know, I was like standing up, I would stand up. I remember I even had one bit in there where, where I did like the dino DNA from, from Jurassic Park. Oh my God, really? Where I That's recorded funny. a thing and timed it perfectly. So I would be talking to myself in the presentation as Hugh. And it was like, they just got a sense and feel of the show. You know, I was just kind of going up and trying to just pitch my Talk dream. You wowed them rocket, basically. You know? I mean, that pitch um, sounds like really entertaining. I, I would love, I would yeah, love, I would to, love hear to watch that, that. I would love yeah. to watch that pitch. <laughs> <laughs> What's incredible about your story and really actually relatable for us is like you, you started on YouTube just yeah. making whatever you could with whatever you had, you know? Yeah. And then yeah. and then incredible that it just started growing from there and then you could yeah. to YouTube and Netflix. Like that's wild. Very that's, inspiring. That's, yeah. That's an awesome story, man. The funny thing though, Netflix wouldn't hear the pitch for me. They were kind of burnt out on the YouTuber, I think, bringing yeah. in a show and, you know, and I've done yeah, nothing. Yeah. I, had, I had nothing to my name. It was like they expected it to right. be that. Right. Yeah. So they they were putting me at the end of the day. They were putting me wow. in, in positions where like it's it, this is going to be very good. But then yeah. after that day, everything changed. I was pitching in boardrooms. It does that. suck to hear, though, that it got canceled. It was all code right. Kind of code oh, okay. because i brought them onto the project right. they used their resources and be like let's set up some pitches they were just setting up pitches left and right and i was just pitching people the crazy thing though is like i went in crazy amount of debt because it was just me going up to la staying in hotel hopping for six months because i didn't know when nobody told me like hey when are we pitching you know just give me the week that we're pitching they're like you just got to be there it could happen at any moment and i'm like all right what? That's yeah. crazy. Oh, what? Man. That's crazy. I've, I've never heard that. Dude. I've never heard of that before. Nothing's coming. So you, you, you in LA yeah. six months just like six waiting months. and hoping yeah. to, get, to get the pitch. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. And then after the fact, when I sold the show, I was like, when is it starting? You know, like when it, Yeah. at what point is it, it's like, well, we got to do the deal process. So we imagine three months waiting around. Is it going to happen? Not going to happen. I didn't have any reps. So I didn't have an agent, manager, mm -hmm. lawyer, nothing. I had to get that on the fly. And then mm -hmm. when I sold my show, I remember my attorney and my rep saying, look, everybody's already made their deal. You're going to get the scraps. What does that mean? And they're like, yeah. well, we're going to try to make a good deal for you. The idea of like, it must be so tough to sort of just sit and waiting and just wait oh. for, for the powers that be, you know, to tell yeah. you what's happening next to your, your show. Like the lack of control would scare the hell I out of me. Yeah. Just I hate that. I thought of it. that. Yeah, of like not knowing like, is it is it going to happen? Is it not? Going you know? from indie to like professional stuff, it, it, it can bring a lot to what you want, but it also brings so much more headache and you also have less control over your ideas and project. It is really tough, but it's a huge step for you as an indie developer but it's also a risky one too was this your full-time like thing dur during this time i was pretty much doing youtube non-stop yeah, so right. so but i was also like trying to get this thing figured out i oh, couldn't yeah, talk yeah. about it right you can't talk about it because it's the deal yeah. you don't know if it's going to happen or not and i was just kind of stuck in a limbo for for a good six months i remember like look i have to talk about this in some way i and like, i remember talking to my agent he was like well let's just leak it <laughs> I was like, can we do that? It's like, can we do that? It's like, yeah. And the are you legally allowed? Is, like, just do it and uh, and apologize later. That's like, oh, every... like how they're showing the leaked Deadpool thing, and that really did help for the Deadpool movie too. The mantra that I heard that first year was it was tough, but I think after that it, it steadily started to turn into a nightmare. After that first oh, season, I, I signed a, a first look deal because I was like, look, if somebody wants to hear my ideas and. They want to give me some money to develop those ideas and I can pitch it to them. Yes, I want to do that. But they would sit on my ideas for eight months and they wouldn't give me an uh, answer. 
I, it was like a bonkers thing where it's like, I guess people, when they just do this deal, they just sit and they don't do anything. But I was like, I was wanting to make something else, you know? Eight and months. That's crazy. They only that... had two weeks to give an answer. But I kept hearing, you got to be a good partner, right? You got to be a good partner. You got to wait. Be a good partner. Be a good partner. Be... I heard that so much that it just kind of drives you insane. So really, like, it, it became more about playing the game of yeah. this like hacky sack between these companies yeah. between these yeah. producers like i'm not an expert when it comes to stuff and i do follow some animators and stuff like that like good example all the stuff that went down between uh Vizzy pop with hasbro hotel getting season one green lit picked up and put on uh amazon and all that stuff i remember seeing a lot of things and one of, it, it is not easy yeah then the show itself yeah you know, it felt like more of your mental energy went to. I still like barely know much. Politics than, yeah. than making this. I'm not an expert. Up. Yeah. Season two was still the, the hardest yeah. one. I mean, imagine getting like 30 to 40 rounds of notes on one script that you know is overstuffing it, but executives want more. They want more I comedy. I, I, would, like, I couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. That I would man. hate that. So I much. would hate that so oh much, God. man. It's rough. When Goose and Liam, like, they write their scripts, and when Liam was making Murder Drones and Goose was making Digital Circus, it's like, you know, m maybe we'd have, like, one note, and it'd be like, yeah, yeah. that <laughs> might get demonetized on YouTube. Like, that, yeah. that's, that's, it. that's all we do. Hey, this is why I love Glitch. Like, what we've seen so far from Glitch and what they've been able to produce, I'm so glad both Murder Drones and... The Amazing Digital Circus has blown the fuck up for Glitch. Like, no joke. Before the Amazing Digital Circus and around the time I started watching Murder Drones, Glitch was like just a little bit above 1 to 2 million subscribers. I think Murder Drones helped them get to that 2 million to 3 million subscriber. And then the Amazing Digital Circus... <laughs> 12 million subscribers now! Wrote or created was getting like dissected and diluted yeah. it must have been like i don't know I, I don't know a good visual for it but seeing like your creation slowly get warped and but with what they do yeah, and how they do it wasn't even they what it so fucking was deserve the everything they yeah. get. That, really tough for you. that started to really play games with your head of like how do i just mm. hold on to the slivers that make it the show that i started mm. out with right yeah i still remember getting a, a call from executives after we had done all 13 animatics of, of season two and we yeah. just sent we just sent the last episode to, to get animated and yeah. we get a call that says hey is there any way we could take the 13 season two and turn it into 10 and you're like what like what are you talking about like no there yeah. episode 10 is my least favorite episode like what do we no we can't do that it ends on that moment like that's a big yeah. season two moment and we had built like a year of building up to arcs and everything and, and, and coming to that point and they wanted to end it at season yeah you can't just you can't just cut yeah. like yeah. a whole chunk of oh it... so did they get season one done and it's season two is when it got canceled is what i'm getting at it was... coming, right? so we spent all night theorizing how can we do this right all night we left at like 4 a.m 5 a.m and we came back in the next day at like 10 and we were like we think we have an idea of how we can fix it and they said no 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 don't worry about it we figured it out we're doing 13 and you're like holy crap oh my god like i'm going oh insane like this season is just like it, it's one thing after another this is so standard in the yeah, industry which right? really it, sucks which really really sucks and one thing that like we've been trying to tell the whole industry now that people are really looking at glitch and what we're doing if if any execs are watching this art in general it's 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 the expression yeah. of a person right like this yeah. i think things would always do better if you go with the inspiration and the original writers like vision i think it's going to be always way more appreciative and a good example is what we got with uh, murder drones and so far of the amazing digital circus it just shows and these corporate motherfuckers need to fucking wake up. Yeah. Final Space is part of your identity. Yeah. And the reason why, yeah. like, Digital Circus and Murder Drums did so well is because they are authentically it's a Goose Works and yeah. authentically Liam Vickers. The full right? yeah. vision. It's their Good. personality in show form. To take that and try to change it, right? 
you lose the sense of like what art is yeah. at the end of the day, right? What animation is, and that is expression of self through these yes. characters. Yes, <laughs> right on the money. That is so refreshing to to hear. To, like, thanks, man. You don't hear it every day. You don't hear yeah. everybody. No, and that's you do, why it's you like, do not. It is, yeah. it is, it is criminal. Like that—that oh, that is man. not the norm. That, yeah. Like, that people don't know that that is the norm. The the crazy thing was, you know, when Final Space got canceled. The only way I can describe how it f felt was like I was losing my friends, not the people, right. like the, not the people that like obviously the people that worked on the show, you know, but the characters. I was yeah. losing a part of myself, and they were stuck at the worst possible moment. And so I kept replaying that moment in my head. And it's like, I've, I've, I've lost him. That was like, that was my entire. That would be so hard on any like creator. But like, how do I save these characters? So I, I was really trying to figure out how to obviously do the graphic novel. And after two years, I got the, I got a license yeah. to do that. And that's awesome. That's how you spoke on okay. really creators. I think that's also another route like part of a good example the is like and what happened with Invader Zim I believe it never technically finished but then that, the creator made a comic book really series to, to like, finish kind of it out. You lose yourself and, and you start yeah. to lose that identity of like I think that's something that happened. Making? Like who am I? You know like yeah. uh, I'm not the only one that's went through it's, it. It's, talking, it's yeah. every single person oh, like that's oh, gone through that yeah. that Hollywood machine. Yeah. It's it's yeah. The, it's the same thing I've heard it many sadly many many times. But that you know I guess that leads perfectly into Godspeed. Right, which was just yeah. just for our viewers watching, Godspeed yeah. is Olin's indie animated show that yeah. he was able to Ooh. create and distribute through YouTube. It's on YouTube right now. You should go check it out right now. I might have to check that um, one out I, too. Yeah. So there are theater, so many indie animations that I did not know about. I'm glad I watched this. Just after the the show got canceled, I was like, well, what do I do? You know, making Godspeed was like, let's show kind of people what we can do with the the experience and and what we've learned making Final Space. You know, let's let it breathe. Let's make something that it's an extension of, of who we are right now. The thing that we were kind of going through while we were writing it was the show was disappearing. So I was like, look, mm. I don't care if it dies. I just don't want it to be forgotten. And yeah. so we just took that and we said, that's our story. That's what we're going to write about. Everybody might not connect with it, but it's just at that point, it, it meant something to me. The awesome thing that you guys have done with the Netflix and uh, Digital Circus, that's awesome. That's a huge deal. Okay. That and, is. And, you know, when they were able to get Netflix to put Digital Circus on that, that was hype. A lot of people have been asking them to hopefully eventually get Murder Drones on Netflix. I've, I've been hearing that or seeing that on Twitter and whatnot. And Murder. I'll tell you a little bit why that's a huge deal. The thing when it comes to Hollywood deals, right, is that if it has never been done before, they don't do it, right? Mm -hmm. True. So if a deal has been made there and, and you want something, they're like, well, that's not how the norm is, right? Yep. So it's really okay. hard to get a new kind of deal made until somebody comes. They need up to get the fuck over their ego, the <laughs> and then yeah. everybody after that point hey, has an ability to, to make a deal very similar to what you yeah. guys have yeah. done. Yeah, I'm, I'm which, so glad that that you said that. Like that's yeah. exactly the reason why we wanted to do this deal as well because it is the yeah. first of its kind where a show has completely come out on YouTube or has been coming out on yeah. YouTube first and then non-exclusively gets to be licensed to a streaming sub. It is That's the first time this has happened. Bonk. And I did hear that like Amazing Digital Circus like just boomed on Netflix too. <laughs> and I, now, obviously, let me ask you this. Is it a typical license deal? Like what is the, the structure of, of, of what that kind of deal looks like? Because it seems like it's a licensing deal that they're going to put it on Netflix. And obviously yep. you get to contain all the rights, IP, mm -hmm. merchandise, all that stuff, which mm -hmm. I love because back in Final Space days, those kind of deals didn't exist. They wouldn't yep. think about, they would want to own the thing that you have. They want to want to own everything. Yeah. It's basically just licensed out non-exclusively and right. we maintain all the rights, all the control. Everything. Glad to hear um, that. Yeah, it's and honestly the amount of work and flights to LA Oh, that man. it took to get to where we are it's yeah. never existed before and i'm so happy that it's animation that that gets to be the first like on the platform to be able to do this kind of thing so yeah and yeah. it's a great it's a great window too for you guys to access a whole nother part of of the world you know like it's mm -hmm. it's all over mm -hmm. the place but it's so many That's more right. eyes where it gives you guys the credibility 
it gives you guys uh, a, a huge vehicle for an independently funded thing. That's massive. That's a huge yeah. thing. It doesn't and exist. It, no, exactly. And, and what I started hearing from just recently from other creators, uh, they told us like, hey, because some execs heard about the Netflix deal and what they're doing with you, other people in the industry reaching out to us and now we're like talking these deals as well i'm like hell yeah that's awesome to hear okay like, that's incredible honestly that could help like honestly how uh, you know what i just thought of imagine if they had this like started before all the the headache and everything for um although it wasn't that bad uh, they also had a bunch of backing. I don't know. I'm just thinking of like Hasman Hotel as a good example. Like, there's so much more we wanted out of the season one of Hasman Hotel uh, that made it restrict. Like, we definitely feel like season one could have been much, much more. Season one's still good, but uh, there was a time skip that uh, was very obvious, and there was a bunch of other things. Didn't feel like. There should have there should have been either hour long episodes or more than eight episodes. That's what I, I and a lot of people agree with that statement. Like I'm not the one to come up with that, but that's kind of how people felt with season one of Hasman Hotel. Incredible, like it's incredible yeah. that and it's so fast as well. Like YouTube is, is YouTube's here to stay. It's not like this, not like back in 2015, yeah. 2014, oh, where it's like people yeah. are making shows that are really high quality that have huge audiences and people are really Daisy, liking, right? and this Hell of a boss now, right? and spooky yeah, month i think that's so, i think so that powerful. was recommended to me recently even since october just passed I, I i think that might be a friday night funkin thing i have not seen that but i think that has been recommended to me cool that we get the control we get to keep the control there as well and we get to have the say in like how these deals go i, I think it's incredible and a huge win yeah. for, for all of us Dude, it's so hard to get any sort of leverage on on animation deals. Like, I can't stress yeah. how hard that is. So if the more knowledge of making licensing deals gets out to people making animation, the better the entire industry will be going forward. Yeah. That means yeah. you are not gonna be in a situation like me where you're having to fight just to get the little sliver just to finish your story, right? Right, and right. I think if you guys are able to keep that licensing deal, you know, hopefully you guys can keep making kind of deals like that with other streamers and Netflix. Mm -hmm. I think that's great. I think that's awesome. They what have started really something amazing, is and this is going to help a lot of indie cares and the community wants to see more of this sort of stuff, right? And so, if anything, and that, that's actually the whole purpose of Glitch X, it's to amplify all of this, yeah. all these creators, everything that we're doing, and showing that like we hold the power and we hold the control to make whatever you want and make a huge huge splash in the world by doing it and we want to give other chances to everyone else yeah well. so i i reached out to, to kickstarter and i actually took a i'm, I'm like doing a consulting gig for kickstarter because they want to help oh. out indiana oh, wow. oh that's it that's yeah. great yeah, yeah. Oh, that's huge. awesome huge. so look wow. if anybody has a I project anybody has a project you want to get kickstarted Come talk to me. I can help you out. Okay. You're about to have thousands. Yeah, no. Come, in your come message me. It, it's <laughs> so many emails. You're gonna get flooded. <laughs> actually, want to do something to help out and talk to people. You Patreon, gotta definitely try to find the ones that actually truly Kickstarter want. Was like, look, we we like what you're and saying. Have the drive. Like, how can we help? And that's, that's um, so I'm like a I'm consulting for like four months. So look, you have you right. have a window. Four months. Come talk. To me, okay. Like, <laughs> um, there you go to all the other creators. Olin, Olin's your guy. Olin will yeah, yeah. yeah. Olin, thank you so much, man. It was great having you on the show, and we will. We this will was a really cool interview. The next one. All right. Oh, there, there'll be more. There'll be more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right. See you guys. <laughs> Aww. Jax, looks like we're at the end of Glitch X. Are we? Oh, thank God. Oh, which indie show was your favorite? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Well, Fucking Jax. Anyway, just a reminder to all you cool cats at home. Please go and support all the indie creators you saw here today. We would really appreciate it. Hell yeah. You don't. I don't really care either way. Jax. Shut the fuck up, Jax. <laughs> He's like, what? <laughs> For five seconds? Anyway, bye, everybody. Have a lovely day. Hey! wanted to say that.
Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching Glitch X 2024. That was an amazing game. I'm not. Oh, we have a little bit more time actually. Hold Everyone up. Everyone that we showed, please go check them out. Support I them. I hope we get maybe something. Really you, still? We really implore you guys to go and support them. And it can be as simple as just sharing and talking. A about lot of. The, really like. And I'm not gonna lie, this, this actually kind of felt like uh, the ga like scene. the gaming stuff I it watch really, and stream. Really lives off of you guys sharing it. When it comes to like yeah, announcements for like games. To be that megaphone and that. This is really cool. For all of these incredible, incredible shows, and ultimately that at uh, Glitch, that's what we want to do. We're doing all of this so the whole industry can can get the thrive. Needs. And at the end of the day, we get some really cool shows that we can all watch and share together. Yeah. So hell yeah. Go check out everything that we've shown. Again, um, links in the description. There's also Glitch. I'll be looking at that we, link. Um, fully show all those links that we've shown today. Yeah. You can go support them there. And usually, what we do, or rather. Well, Last time we're like, wait, there's one more thing, you know, and we do that whole like, um, oh, oh, uh, Nintendo Direct thing where it like fades to a trailer or something. But um, not not for this one. Instead, I I want to have a really really important conversation to all the creators, all the animation, indie animation, or indie okay. creators in general. Or anyone there. wanting to make anything really? Yeah, big. really. I, I really want to talk to you guys. Okay, this is what this part is for. Uh, before we sign off. This entire industry is 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 growing, and we're seeing more and more people create stuff. That's fantastic. And as you probably saw from this stream itself, or from this video itself, people making Kickstarters, people making Patreons, people are getting their shows funded. Good job. You did the hard thing. Great job. Getting a show funded is actually the hard part, right? What mm -hmm. I really, really want to communicate out there is that there's a whole nother area that now that creators need to be cognizant of, right? And that is the business side of it. And yes, I know, I know it, it can be a bit boring. <laughs> boring. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys want to focus on the art, right? But truly, just like production management is, is important, just like managing your files, right? Knowing schedule, being able to delegate work, all that stuff, just like that is important for a show. Knowing the business and operational side of things is also as really, really important. That's knowing how to manage the money. That's knowing how to do the accounting, the tax, the legal side of it. I, I know that sounds like a lot, but it's something that needs to be considered. It's very important. Yeah. Um, oh, definitely. We're, we're really lucky because Luke's more of the creative side and I'm more of the business side. We're two sides of the same coin, so we're really lucky. They work and together pretty strongly. I wouldn't expect any single creator to know all of that on their own, but all I ask is just know a little bit of the basics. If you do a Kickstarter, know where that money is going. Know no, what... It needs to be taxed. Or yeah, not. know what's tax deductible, all that sort of stuff. Starting a company under the show would really, really help. Knowing all of those tips and tricks um, can really set up your show for, for success. Yeah. And we have seen people not necessarily knowing that and falling into like these big sort of pitfalls, right? Um, and we, we don't want anyone to go through that. So educate yourself. Um, try to talk to people, know people in the community. You saw Olin Rogers himself. Talk to him. He he's can a, tell you. He's, a, he's there to help. He's yeah. a great resource. He'll be able to tell you about all of that sort of stuff. He's really, really knowledgeable as well. Please just be aware of the business side of things as now you're going to make these shows because it is a lot of money that's going into these shows, right? Knowing and understanding how to manage that money and the rights that you have is going to be really, really important. Okay, that, that, that's the next big step now, right? Because all these shows are starting to get funded. Now it's the next big step, you know? Um, and obviously, you know, in, in the future, there's marketing and merchandise and all that sort of stuff. But like, let, let's start off with like this, this managing. Yeah. Managing, managing and setting things, things but, uh, in the yeah, right direction from us. Thank you again so much for watching. Yep. Also wanted to give a special shout out to Saberspark for his support in assisting us in this year's Glitch. Oh, hell yeah. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you guys next year. Let's go! <laughs> that was awesome. And at the very end, does not look like it. No. Alright. Anyways, guys, once again, show your support to all these awesome indie developers, creators, everything link for this video will be on the this in the description down below show your support to glitch and all these other awesome creators i hope you guys enjoyed this this was a pretty lengthy reaction but this was a banger and i already see a bunch of shows i'm looking forward to next year and maybe already out so guys look forward to some future reactions and much much more 
and I post every day and I try to post at least two videos every day. So look out, check out the video before this one as well. It's a huge, big animation movie that's based off of team four, uh, team fortress two. Go check that out. And, uh, I'll see you guys in the next one till then later. Take us on